So when this new era started, they made some changes in the team shop and I didn't really have the chance to actually make a video on it. So today I wanted to do that and also we're going to see if we can actually get a level 11 rune out of this chest. So I hope you guys are excited if you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, anyways it's going to get started. Alrighty guys, so here's the thing. First of all, let me go ahead and collect some of these. 473 war coins. I'm not sure which war that was, but probably the most recent actually. 473, right? Who was it up against? Oh, forget three. Okay, so we did have uh, a couple of like this this week right here. Look at this. From champs, starting from champs, right? Right after uh well, there's VS that we matched, but look at this. We matched uh gatekeepers, army of chaos, and then dragon's fire, and then El Grasso. El Grasso actually did quite well. Like, look at that, 420 coins. But um, yeah, we won all of them. <laughs> that was fun. And this was an off, uh, off season right here. That's why I give like zero trophies to both teams. But anyways, still number one. Here's the thing, the team shop guys. Take a look at this, okay? So first of all, we got Steel Groth, Steel Kara, Gekon, Arabat, General Gavar. They brought the generals back, as you guys can see. Um, obviously, they're gonna go ahead and update this every few days. So this Apparently, it's going to expire in 18 hours, so it's going to go away. But right now, you have Seal Girl, Seal Kara, Gekon, and Arabat for the Mythics. Um, the only Mythics here would be probably Gekon. Gekon's the only one that's actually worth it with Seal Kara. Seal Kara is okay. She used to be really good, but I feel like there's better monsters than her now. So, Gekon for Bounty Hunt, Seal Groth just as a tank. So, anyways, I have 13,000 War Coins and 265,000 War Medals. I have a lot of War Medals, but unfortunately, War Coins, I don't have too much. Now, here's the thing. If you actually go ahead and scroll a little bit, you'll see this. 8 to 11 Speed Rune Chest for War Coins. This should be War Medals, I feel like. They should definitely update this to War Medals. This would be a lot better if it was just War Medals. I mean, come on. Or have the option where it's just War Coins and the other one would be our War Medals. You know what I mean? Like, one side would be War Coins, the other one War Medals. That would be nice. Uh, But, yeah. Basically, you spend the War Coins, you have a chance of getting a level 11 uh, ring. And that's actually not bad. I mean, I like the prices on these. Especially this one. Uh, so, you're going to spend the War Medals and War Coins. It depends. If you are if you have stacked up a lot of War Coins, you know, it's nice. You can spend a lot and, you know, get a lot of this. But I feel like this is actually not bad either. Uh, because you're going to be also spending War Medals as well. Um, now, this is 9 to 11. This one is 8 to 11. So, you have higher chances of getting a level 11 uh, rune out of this than this one. If that makes sense. So, this, again... I wouldn't really recommend spending your war coins and war medals on these relic chests. None of them are worth it. Not a single one are worth it, okay? This right here, all this up to right here, you want to avoid all of it, okay? Even the war VIP monster, unless maybe you're missing a monster here, you can go ahead and, you know, try to get that for protection purposes. But the thing is, keep in mind, these monsters come around very often or absolutely free. You know what I mean? Sometimes you open up like a legendary monster chest or something or there will be like some type of event you'll basically obtain it with little to no effort they are not vip okay and just because it says vip they're not good none of these monsters are getting unfortunately not anymore uh their stats are just being by other monsters so anyways here's what we're gonna do without further ado let's actually spend some coins here some coins and war metals who do we what do we want to get first of all i want to go for the speed speed and strength speed strength maybe life all right let's test our luck let's see what we're gonna get here there is a rune lords going on obviously we got a level nine speed level nine speed rune. Now, obviously that's you're gonna get that a lot but let's see if we can actually get ourselves a level 11 that would be pretty sweet i feel like ah team drink level nine come on man we got 10k war coins left let's try again please uh okay really <laughs> uh we got 8,000 thousand now let's see i just want one i just want one come on yeah four thousand coins left oh man all right let's let's try one more time come on or a few more times but oh my luck sucks is it just my luck or is this just like the way it is now like your chances of getting a level 11 is like really really low oh we got a level 10 cool i feel like Okay, this is just a guess. This is not accurate at all, but this is just my take for this, okay? I think that the chances of you getting like a level 11 is like maybe 10%, and then the other like 20 or 30% would be, you know, level 10, and then the remaining level 9, right? I feel like that's the way it is. So your chances of getting obviously the level 11 is like the lowest. So unfortunately, we can't, can't really spend anymore. None of these take war medals only. 
Come on, that is just not right. That's not right at all. So we'll have to win another war or two to get ourselves more of those coins so I can go ahead and open more up, I guess. But let me actually head over to crafting. We got ourselves a lot of level nines just now. And plus these are some of the previous ones. Level 10s on the other hand, we did get one, which is nice. Unfortunately, I don't have any level 11s, do I? I do have one. That was from, uh, that was from the Legends Pass. That was from the Legends Pass. And obviously I don't have any level 12, 13, or 14. Yep, none of those. Okay, that's fine. I do have this level 11. I'll probably give that to a monster, like someone really good. Let's see. But it's kind of nice though now, right? Like for example, in Team Wars, if you're gonna go up against a base, and your monster like doesn't have enough speed and you're trying to make it as fast as possible you're like man how do i make this monster so like faster like he just needs to be slightly faster and then you're like oh level 11 runes or level 12 runes you know what i mean and so on so that's kind of nice but let's see if we can if we get ourselves uh the stormbringer there, there are chances there are some chances uh no okay that's fine i mean these are the basic tickets anyways i'm not expecting too much from it we don't get anything you know that's understandable. Lord Inheritor, Killjoy, and Skull Crusher. We'll do the two single ones. Let's skip the animation. Oh, let's do the skip animation again. Saika it is. Yeah, no. Okay. Fortunately not. So do I have Santa Clara? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I could probably check here. My monsters. Because I want to... Okay. I want to actually like donate cells, but since I need the monster, I'm not going to, you know, I guess donate the cell because I need I need the monster first. Let me craft the first, and then I'll go ahead and donate the cells. Is that just me? Like, do you guys do the same thing when somebody in your team requests like cells for a monster, and you're like, you check if you have the monster, and you're like, oh, I don't have the monster. Do you still donate the cell, or are you like, nah, let me just you know save the cells for myself. So let me craft it first, and then. Eventually, when I have extra cells, I'll go ahead and donate it. Like, I want to donate pretty badly. Unless the monster just sucks. You know what I mean? Santa is actually not bad. Santa Clara, Clara is actually not bad. Uh, I can probably rank this up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm ranking up the goat. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and probably craft this then. This was from the recent tales. I'll do a review on that very soon. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Like, say in Tyrion, I have zero cells. But if I had, like, a lot of cells, I would just give it. I would have just given it. The monster is not that good, unfortunately, not anymore. Um, but without further ado, there is that equipment challenge going on right now. I do need to feed some monsters to get those tokens real quick. We'll go with like a rare monster, feed it up a little bit, just like this, and it should be up and up anytime now. No, there it is. Cool. Let's bring the level to 175, and then finding multiplayer. I'm good. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so the five tokens we'll get that very soon, but honestly, I'm I'm already good for this like I already got myself the sorcerer cell or sorry the egg Which is enough. That's all I wanted really, but looks like there's a extra 200 cells right here that we can get Oh 2k summoning tickets 3k 4k. Oh my gosh. I have so many summoning tickets now uh, We've got ourselves the summit folk banner when the turn starts if the wear stamina is below 50% it increases wearers power by 4,000 points and gives stamina. Okay, you know what? It's actually not bad. Like giving this to maybe Naya, that would be nice, right? I started a battle if all allies are from the Summit Folk action increases the maximum stamina. Um, I started a battle if Drac, what, who's that? Wait, what monster is that? Is in the team, increases the maximum life of all allies by that much and applies Frosted to a random enemy. That's nice. Who the heck is Drac? Am I missing up? Ooh. Oh, this one. Oh, this guy. Oh, the Megaton. Wait, where is he available in? Am I missing something? Wait, wait, is he? Is he this guy? Oh, that's Arafaz. Then that's Arafaz. Uh, where, where the heck? It's not in the Legends Pass. It wasn't in Maze. It's not on PvP. Not in, yeah, like I said, not in Maze. So is it like an exclusive monster or something? Am I missing out on something? Nope, that's Arafaz. Okay, somebody would let, have to let me know in the comments. Actually, maybe it's in the Conjuring event. Is it not? Oh yeah, it is. It's in the Conjuring event. There it is. So we'll have to pull this very very soon somehow. Oh, there's also Sorcerers in here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, in the event board, I'll go ahead and claim this banner. And... Oh, look! He's also in this. In the event board. 
So if I could get myself 135 somehow, that'd be nice. You know what? What I really want to get to would be up to either this point or this point right here. Get the 6k tickets as well. Then I'll have some chances of getting um, this other monster, the Kajirian event monster here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep stacking up these tickets. And before the event ends, I'll go ahead and make it like a huge video where I just spend all the tickets. Although they are basic tickets, but still, you have chances of getting the ancestral monsters here. You know what I mean? And, I, and I'm actually missing all of the monsters. So it'd be nice. I feel like it'd be a nice video, you know, where I'll actually spend like thousands of, you know, tickets. Like, it'll be more than the amount that I've spent before. Like, I think the most I've spent in the past was like 5,000 something tickets. And that was for these tickets, uh, specifically, the seasonal ones. But... The summoning tickets though, the normal tickets, um, this is going to be huge. So make sure you guys are subscribed to see that. But that's going to wrap it up for today's monster video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, this one. Peace out.